In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can record or stream your PS3 gameplay in 2023. This can be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step in this video and I show you all the right equipment that you're gonna need and also how to route it all correctly. So you can be up and running fast as possible and streaming and recording within OBS Studio. So let's get started with the equipment that you're gonna need first. You're gonna need a PS3, you're gonna need a PC, a HDMI splitter, three HDMI cables, an Elgato HD60 capture card, also the TV or monitor to play your game. That's all for the hardware that you need. Now for the software, you're gonna need a recording software like OBS Studio. Each piece of this equipment you're gonna need is important to get no latency or lag when you're recording or streaming. I'll leave links to everything you need in the description below. Now that you know everything we need, we're gonna go over the routing. To make this super simple, I've made this diagram to show you guys how the routing works. The HDMI cable from your PS3 goes into the HDMI import on your HDMI splitter. The HDMI splitter will have two HDMI outputs. You only need to use one of these outputs. You're gonna use a HDMI cable going from the HDMI out of the splitter into the HDMI import on the Elgato HD60 capture card. Now you take the USB 3 cable that comes with your Elgato HD60 capture card and you plug it into the computer that you wanna stream or record to. That's running the OBS Studio recording and streaming software so you can capture your gameplay. And then the last HDMI cable coming from the HDMI out of your Elgato 60 capture card goes into the TV or monitor that you wanna watch and play the game. That's coming from your PS3. One thing to note about the HDMI splitter, the reason that we need this is the PS3s when they were made had a bit of software called HDCP and that basically blocked any capture cards from recording anything on the PS3. So the HDMI splitter before going into the capture card helps prevent this so we can get our signal into our recording software. A lot of the HDMI splitters do come with a power supply so you may need to plug it into the wall or by USB into your computer. For me, it works works without the power so you can try it without plugging in and wasting a port or a power plug. Now let's get everything into OBS so we can press record or stream. First thing you need to do is you need to open up OBS and create scenes and sources for your PS3 for the gameplay and the audio. This is very simple as all the audio and video come from the one signal so all you need to do is you need to hit the plus icon here and create a scene. Press OK. Go down to the plus icon and add a new source and you want to select a video capture device. Give it a name, something different from your scene and press OK. Select the device tab and select the Game Capture HD 60S Plus. And straight away, you're gonna see the PS3 gameplay. You can leave all these default and press OK. The first thing to check is if you're getting a sound signal coming through and we are getting one here and it's in the green. One thing you may need to change straight away before you go any further is if your audio is peaking like crazy. There's a setting in the PS3, you might need to switch the audio driver. Go to settings. Scroll down to sound settings, select audio output settings, then select HDMI, then select manual. And then you wanna make sure these channels are ticked here. By default, it may be on Dolby Digital 5.1 channel, and that may create a bunch of noise and mess up your sound. So check these settings first and monitor your output on OBS to make sure the signal isn't clipping or exploding. We still won't hear anything yet until we go to these little dots and select advanced audio properties. Under the audio monitoring tab, click this button here and change it to monitor and output. Then you can add anything else you need for your stream or recording like your microphone or your camera and you're set up and you're done. Now all you need to do is press either stream or record and you can make your content. I hope this video helped you and thank you very much for watching.